I'll be careful. I'll be careful. Well, ooh, that did not sound nice. Warnings, precautions. I'm Tony and I'm a fourth year MLS student. And today we're going to be unboxing an upright microscope Eclipse SI by Nikon. All right, so let's tear into this thing. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. Right. <laughs> I'll be careful, I'll be careful. Mm. Okay. I think we got the bottom open. That should be good enough. And then I can just tilt it, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. I got the bottom. Okay. Oh, it is light. Okay. Oh, let me move it from the mic. Not good. Okay. Well, wow, hopefully nothing broke. She's cute. She's all wrapped in plastic. Let's try to get it out. Oh, and then lift it out. You're a professional. I will get the hang of it eventually. So this looks very similar to the microscopes we usually use in lab. So nothing too crazy. I guess like this back part is a little different. I don't know what's going on here. Um, that looks a little different, but otherwise it seems to look relatively similar. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it is pretty. Okay. So, all right, this is a little different. This is actually less bulky than ones I normally work with. I feel like the ones we normally use in lab are kind of, kind of chunky. So now we can cut off this little zip tie thing without breaking anything. If I'm strong enough. There we go. Okay. Ooh. That there. And I think that was the last piece of garbage that was on it. But look, isn't she pretty? And okay, now that it's all out of the plastic, I am realizing it is a little different from the microscopes we normally use in lab. Um, the ones we normally use in lab are here. These are the ones that we normally use in lab. And this is the new Nikon one. It's slimmer, it's a little smaller, it's a little lighter. Um, I think I like the look better, just cause these ones can be a, little, a lot. Okay, and I'll plug it in. The tools for when I'm taking these off, they're in this box. It's this little that thing right here, yep. Okay, so we found the tools that we were looking for that I had failed to take out of the box initially. Um, now that we have those, we can actually get this thing fully set up. These two little screws down here are gonna have to come off. With this thing that I did not take out of the box initially. And it's childproof. <laughs> that is such a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, that was a lot easier. Maybe it was just Tony proof. And lefty Lucy. Okay, that's one. Oops. Two. Okay. Perfect. This little plastic chunks off. If it won't come off. Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay, now it's ready. Oh, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> okay, there it is. And that's just trash. Trash, we don't need this. The 100 objective 
is also not currently on here, but it did come with the 4X, the 10X. Um, the only thing it's missing, I believe, is the 100. So let's get that out. 100X, hopefully this is not Tony proof. Looks like it is. We need more tools. It's a very involved unboxing. Don't wanna break anything. Okay. Oh, it worked. Oh, there's plastic on it. There we go. All assembled. Now we have all four objectives on there and it looks great. Okay, now we can plug this in and see if we can get it turned on. There's part of the plug. And the other part I believe is in here. I'm being, gotta open a lot of things. Okay, this was easier to open. That did not sound nice. That screeching noise. Okay. Oh, it's like a little box. And then take these little twisty things off. There we go. I see. Okay. We got it. And I need to unwind this. And then it can be plugged in. I twisted this way too much. Done. And then I believe this part goes in here. We don't need this. Now let's get this plugged in. See what we're working with. Ooh. Oh, it's digital on the bottom. That's cool. So now we're gonna take a look at the user manual to make sure we don't break anything. All right, so we have the eyepieces up here. The objectives are these little things here, is what you actually look through to get the magnification. Normally you end up using most of them, at least in the classes I've taken, we use all of them. So for like gram staining, for example, in the microbiology courses, you do end up using all of them. This is the the stage, it can, it lifts and lowers with the slide. Um, these are your um, adjusters, I guess, the coarse adjuster and the fine adjuster. And then over here, um, these get your slides to go up and back and left and right. The condenser is very important. And I know this from personal experience because if you don't adjust that, you can really blind yourself if you don't turn down the brightness. This, I believe, Yep, the condenser, you're gonna wanna know what that is. Oh, and with the eyepieces, cause not everyone's eyes are, you know, spaced apart the same, those, you can adjust those two. Warnings, precautions. Flammable solvents. Uh, immersion oil is flammable? Don't put your immersion oil next to an open flame, I guess, cause it will burn. <laughs> That's good to know. And are these trying, are you guys trying to replace all of these with these? Eventually. Ooh, good news 2075. You guys might have all of these. I do like, like I said before, I do like that it's kind of um, a smaller compact design um, than compared to the bulkier ones that we are used to using in lab. Um, but otherwise it operates pretty much the same. No, not too much of a difference there. Um, other than the, I guess the light switch is just a button here when normally it's like a switch. And the, I guess down here, the digital screen is also different. But other than a lot of design differences, the way it works is the same. It works just as well as um, the other ones. So didn't have too many issues. Um, but yeah, uh, those are kind of final thoughts on this newer microscope. Uh, I would like to say thank you for watching. And I would also like to thank uh, my, I guess, 
photographer, Cynthia, who's behind the scenes taking pictures <laughs> that will probably be used to promote this video. And I'd also like to thank our lab coordinator, Cassandra, for helping me out with the unboxing and this trial run of this new microscope. Um, she was a ton of help. I probably wouldn't have been able to, you know, get very far. I probably wouldn't have even been able to get out of the box if I, Cassandra wasn't here, to be honest. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>